Magandang araw. Isa na namang lesson ang ating pag-aaralan ngayon. At ito ay ang tinatawag nating geometric sequence. Nung nakaraang lesson, ating pinag-aaralan ang tungkol sa tinatawag nating uh, arithmetic sequence. Kapag alaman natin na ang arithmetic sequence ay nabubuo sa pagkakaroon ng common difference na kung saan ang unang numero ay uh, nadadagdagan ng isang fixed number to get the next term and also yung mga susunod na number ay pareho din ang idinadagdag para mabuo natin ang arithmetic sequence ngayon ang kaibahan ng geometric sequence ay uh, ang sequence ng number na to ay nagkakaroon ng isang fix na pagbabago sa pamamagitan ng pagmumultiply ng isang number sa mga naunang number to get the next term. And uh, for us to be able to get the full definition, let us read its uh, meaning. Geometric sequence is also known as geometric progression. It is a set of terms in which each term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by the same fixed number called the common ratio. So katulad ng sinabi ko, ang common ratio ay ang number na kahit ano pa mang number, it can be a positive or it can be a negative number that should be multiplied to the previous number to get the next number. Let us have some of the examples here. The first sequence is we have here 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. So notice that the number or the set of numbers has a fixed uh, change and that is the previous number is multiplied by 2 so ina multiply yan sa 2 para makuha ang kasunod na numero so ibig sabihin ang ating uh, common ratio the common ratio here is equal to 2 now, on the second example, let me take this, okay? We have 1, 3, 9, 27, and so on. Ano sa tingin nyo ang uh, naimultiply sa unang number to get the next term? Ano ang number na naimultiply sa second number to get the third term? At ano ang pwedeng i-multiply sa third term to get the fourth term? Yes. If your answer is 3, then your answer is correct. We have 3 as a common ratio. Now, maybe it will be more difficult for you kung makakakita kayo ng negative na ganito. Pero hindi. Ito ay kapareho din ng mga naunang examples. So, ibig sabihin, alamin natin ang isang uh, number na pwedeng i-multiply sa naunang number to get the next term. And that is equal to positive 4. So, we have for number 3, R is equal to positive 4. And then, for the fourth geometric sequence, notice that unlike the first three uh, set of numbers, nandito na to sa decreasing order. So, bumaba simula sa umpisa hanggang sa mga sumunod, makikita nyo pababa ng pababa ang numero. So, it's, it simply means that ang common ratio natin 
is not a whole number. And if we have 64 going down to 16, we know that it was divided by 4. And 16, if we move it, if we divide this by 4, it will lead us to positive 4. So, kung sabi nga, a fixed number na ang sabi is imumultiply dun sa una para makuha yung ikalawa, eh bakit ito naging division? Madali lang kasagutan. Ibig sabihin, ang previous number, to get the next term, we should multiply it by the fraction 1 fourth. So, ganun kasimple. At ang huling bilang, or huling uh, set of numbers, ay meron tayong 125, 25, 5, 1, and so on. Same procedure. Ibig sabihin, to get the common ratio, ito lang ang gagawin. Kung ang uh, pagkuha ng common difference sa arithmetic sequence is from the rightmost uh, number going to the left side, ganun din yung gagawin natin to get the common ratio. But this time, it's uh, division. Ibig sabihin, kailangan natin i-divide ang 1 by 5, i-divide ang 5 by 25, at i-divide ang 25 by 125. Kailangan pare-pareho sila na maging quotient. Or else, hindi natin siya pwedeng matawag na common ratio. So, ang number 5 natin, ay mayroong kasagutan para sa common ratio na 1 fifth. Okay? So, after na makuha natin ang different common ratios, which is uh, 2, 3, 4, 1 fourth, and 1 fifth. So, katulad dyan yan itong uh, nauna, 2, 3, 4, 1 fourth, and 1 fifth. Um, pwede na tayong pumunta sa isang example. But before that, ang, example, ang uh, bago yung example natin ay kailangan natin malaman ang formula. Ang formula natin to get the next term of the geometric sequence is a sub n equals a sub 1 multiplied by the common ratio raised to n minus 1. Now, a sub n is uh, pertaining to the term that you need to solve for. Ano ang uh, isin pinapasolve? Kung pang sampung term ba yan? Pangatlong term? Panglimang term? A sub 1 is usually ang tinutukoy natin na first term. Ano yung kauna-unang term na ibinigay? Ang R ay ang common ratio na naipaliwanag natin ng una. At ang N ay yung number of terms that is given in the set of uh, sequence. Now, para sa unang solution, halimbawa, pinapasolve sa atin ang 10th term, ang pang 10 numero ng uh, ating number na 2, 4, and 8. Just like what I told you before, unahin muna ang pagsulat ng formula. So, A sub n equals A sub 1 times R raised to n minus 1. By substitution, n is equal to 10 dahil yung n natin ay nagre-represent nagre kung pang ilan ang ating uh, kailangan isolve. And of course, ang A sub 1 ay 2. And, ang exponent natin ay uh, 10 minus 1. Following the equation, ng next equation natin, ang unang-unang gagawin natin is to simplify yung ating exponent. Okay? So, ang exponent natin ay magiging 9 by performing subtraction. So, this will become 2 raised to 9. And then after that, ang next equation natin 
is to simplify the term with an exponent. And 2 raised to 9 means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 hanggang maka 9 tayo na 2. So the answer will be 512, this one. And then we will be uh, multiplying it by 2 for us to be able to get 1,024. Okay? Ang uh, susunod na problem ay medyo complicated ng konti because it involves fraction. So solve for the fifth term of this sequence, 125, 25, 5, and so on. So uh, if you notice that the given sequence is in decreasing order, it means as malamang na meron tayong fraction na common ratio. So ang common ratio dito is uh, if we divide 5 by 25, it's a fraction that can be considered as 5 divided by 25 or simply 5 over 25. Simplifying this will result to 1 fifth. Same as with the uh, ratio of 25 over 125. So let us do the, the, the solution. And of course, writing the equation, doing the substitution on the second part, since we have to solve for the fifth term, that is why n is equal to 5. The first term is 125. The common ratio is 1 fifth. And n is equal to 5 minus 1. Simplify the fraction, and I mean uh, the exponent of the fraction. So it will be equal to 4. And then, by the power of 4, 1 over 5 will become 1 fifth times uh, 1 fifth times 1 fifth times 1 fifth. And that's 1 over 625. Of course, we need to multiply this 125 to this whole number, which is 1. So we have here 125 over 625. Simplify na natin yung fraction na to kasi sobrang laki. Tandaan na ang uh, bawat fraction natin for us to be able to get yung final answer natin is for us to simplify and get it to the simplest form. So i divide natin ang numerator and the denominator by 125 over 125 which is obviously this is equal to 1 kaya kung ano man ang magbago dito sa equation ay I mean dito sa fraction na to ay pareho din ang magiging sagot niya okay so final answer for this is 1 fifth by simply 125 divided by 125 is equal to 1 and 625 divided by 125 is equal to 5. So, yun ang ating tinatawag na geometric sequence. Maraming salamat at uh, kita-kita ulit tayo sa susunod na video.